the story you saw first here on 8 News, and tonight we have exclusive new details about the investigation into Governor McDonald's former chef. 8 News reporter Nate Eaton has more. He's cooked for celebrities, politicians, and was head chef in Governor McDonald's kitchen. Now, several sources tell 8 News Todd Schneider embezzled tens of thousands of dollars of taxpayer money. Schneider owns Seasonings Fine Catering. Sources say for months he ordered food for his business, had it delivered to the governor's mansion, then turned invoices over to the state to cover the costs. Sources close to the investigation say he made it appear that the food was for official Commonwealth events, even though it was often for private functions. State police, the governor's office, and the attorney general won't comment on the case. So we wanted to know what Schneider had to say. We went to his house. He wasn't home. So we went to his business. The seasonings catering is located here in this unmarked building in Henrico County. I went inside and asked if Todd Schneider was there. A worker told me that he was not. She didn't know where he was. She didn't know when to expect him back. And she didn't have a phone number for me to call him on. She did tell me that she would tell him that I stopped by. Sources say Schneider has big financial problems. We're told many seasonings employees quit late last year after their paychecks bounced and eight news uncovered these court documents from 2009 when seasonings landlord sued Schneider for not paying rent the landlord won the case and Schneider was ordered to pay the shops at Belgrade over forty thousand dollars Nate Eaton eight news last night we broke the news that he did not have a background check before he was hired at the governor's mansion Today, the governor's office issued a statement saying in part, quote, we have done a full review of all hires since the administration began and everyone else received a full background check. The background check process is our voluntary system we implemented and is not a legal requirement. Snyder also did work for Governor Tim Kaine and other Virginia politicians. In other